Hi guys, it's Thursday and we are here for our ELA lesson for today. So this week you've been talking about prefixes and context clues and so that's what we're going to talk about today. So today we're going to focus on prefixes and prefixes are fixed to the beginning of words. We add them to the beginning of words. So if we look at the word unhappy, what is the base word in the word unhappy? And if you think back, we talked about base words and they also can be called root words. What root word or word do we see in unhappy? That's right, we see happy. And what do we see is the prefix in unhappy? Yes, if we know the base word is happy, then the prefix is un. So let's look and see, how can we figure out what the prefix un means? What does un mean? Unhappy. It could, it means not happy. Unhappy, if I'm thinking and I know that when I'm unhappy, I'm not happy, I can think that the prefix un means not. So let's look at another example, unfriendly. Unfriendly means not friendly. Unkind. If I think about a time when someone was unkind to me, they were not kind to me. Unhelpful. If I ever think of a time when something or someone was unhelpful to me, they were not helpful. Unusual. If I ever think of something that has happened to me that is unusual, that is something that is not usual. Unfair. If I ever want to think of a time that maybe my brother or sister has done something that was unfair, that means that they did something that was not fair. So what do I notice about the meaning of all of these words? All of the words begin with the prefix un, and then the definition of all these words have not. So un means not. When I think to myself what the meaning of each of those words mean. What is another way to write this sentence? If we have this sentence, he is not able to go to the movie. Pause your video and think to yourself, say aloud, what word could we put in place of not able? Now, read that sentence to yourself with a new word. Yes, you can change not able to unable. So the new sentence could be, he is unable to go to the movie. Because I remember the prefix un means not. So I can change not and add the prefix un. Now let's look at the word, the prefix dis. Let's figure out what the prefix dis means. So if I think of the word disappear, and I think of when something disappears, it means not appear. It is, it, I don't see it anymore. Disagree. If I think of a time when I have disagreed with my friend, that means my friend and I not agree. We do not agree. If I think of the word dislike, I dislike Brussels sprouts. That means I do not like Brussels sprouts. If I think of the word dishonest, my parents don't like it when I'm dishonest, so they don't like it when I am not honest. Disobey. I never want to disobey, so that means I never want to not obey. And disrespectful. I don't want to be disrespectful, so that means I don't want to be not respectful. So look at all of these words and their meaning. All of these words have the prefix dis, and they also have the word not in their meaning. So I can think to myself, dis also means not. 
So when I think to myself, aha, I notice this and un both mean, that's right, both mean not. Both of these prefixes mean not. So let's look at this sentence. What is another way to write this sentence? Mom does not approve of that TV show. How can I replace not approve? I can change not approve, you got it, to disapprove. So my new sentence, mom disapproves of that TV show. And it has the same meaning. I can change not approve to disapprove. All right, it's your turn. You're going to try it together. If you are dissatisfied with your meal, you should tell the waitress. Dissatisfied. What do you think the word dissatisfied means? Yes, dis means not. So dissatisfied means not satisfied. I will unpack my backpack later. What do you think the word unpack means? You got it. Un means not. So unpack means not pack. Please resend me the email. Now this is a tricky one. What do you think the prefix re means? You may already know this, this prefix. Yeah, you got it. I knew you knew it. The prefix re means again. So resend means send again. I will resend or send again the email. Be careful, that ladder looks unsafe. What do you think the word unsafe means? That is exactly right. If I know the prefix un means not, unsafe means not safe. He had no choice but to dismount the horse. What do you think the word dismount means? And here you can use some context clues like we're going to talk about a little later. If you see this person riding the horse and he had no choice but to dismount the horse, dis means not. That's exactly right. So dismount, not mount. That means he had to get off of that horse. And if I were looking at that horse, I would want to get off too. Let's look at this sentence. Trucks deliver the dirt used to rebuild the bridge. Here's that word, that prefix re again. What did we say the prefix re means? You got it. Re means again. So the word rebuild means build again. The unpaved road was very bumpy. Which word do you notice has a prefix in this sentence? That's exactly right. Unpaved is the word with the prefix. And we know that the prefix un means not. So unpaved means not paved. The magician made the rabbit disappear. Again, which word in this sentence do you notice that has a prefix at the beginning? That's it. The word disappear has a prefix. And we know that the prefix dis means not. So the word disappear means to not appear. The magician made the rabbit, then the magician made the rabbit reappear. Which word in this sentence do you notice has a prefix? Yes, the word reappear has the prefix, and we know that the word, re, the prefix re means again. So reappear means appear again. All right, so now. Let's talk about context clues. Context clues are when we use clues in the story to figure out the meaning of an unknown word. 
Unknown is a word that we don't know. There's that prefix again, un. So unknown is a word that is not known, a word we don't know. Let's look at some examples. The ocean water was transparent. We could see all the fish. I don't know what the word transparent means. So how can I use my context clues to figure out that word? I can look at words in the sentence that help me know the meaning. The ocean water was transparent. We could see all the fish. If I could see all the fish in the ocean water, that helps me know that transparent means clear. I can see clearly. So what words from the sentence help me understand what the word transparent means? Does the ocean help me understand the word transparent? No, that's not really giving me any clues. Does water was, does that give me any clues about what the word transparent means? No, not really. See all the fish. If I can see all the fish, does that help me understand that the water is transparent? Yes, because if I can see all the fish, that means I can see clearly. So I would mark the answer C. Your turn. She wore a long gown which looked like a beautiful dress. What words from the sentence would best help you understand what the word gown means? Say your answer. Yeah, that's right. I would choose the answer beautiful dress. That helps me know what a gown is because I can wear a beautiful dress and she wore a beautiful gown. That's correct. Let's try one more. Sam's team celebrated their triumphant season with a pizza party. What words from the sentence best helps you understand the word, what the word triumphant means? Sam's team celebrated their triumphant season with a pizza party. That's it. Celebrated. When I celebrate, I want to have a pizza party. So their triumphant season help celebrated helps me know the meaning of the word triumphant. Let's hit the whoa because we got all of those right. Ready? One, two, three. Hit the wall. All right, guys. So that's our lesson for today. Now you can go to Mound or Epic and read a book and take an AR quiz before your Zoom lesson.